A blog post published Friday is raising questions about the future of the Brown Stadium. The post reports the team may be eyeing new sites for a new build. I went straight to the author of that blog post to break down what he learned from his sources. The Browns fandom is buzzing over a report that the team is looking to build a new stadium in a new location. In an article published in the blog Neotrans, author Ken Prendergast says he spoke to two sources close to the team and owners Haslam Sports Group and was told they have looked at different sites for a new stadium and are leaning towards starting fresh over renovating. No, I think they're going to have a stadium under construction by 2028. Um, you know, whether it's you know, they find that they can't afford it or there's not enough public support in the community to build a new stadium. Then they'll have to go back to renovating the existing stadium, which from what I understand, they really don't want to do. In speaking to his sources, Prendergast reports turning the existing stadium into an all-weather, year-round, multi-purpose facility would be nearly as expensive as building a new one. So where would a new one be? He writes the main post office or a site east of downtown between East 13th and 17th Streets. In terms of ease of operations and low cost, probably the easiest one to do is the post office site because it's just a big piece of land. The other site, you know, on the near east side of downtown is dozens and dozens of small properties. Three News asked Cleveland City Council President about these possible plans. He says a conversation about a new stadium is premature and right. City Council right. has not seen Our anything more than Neotrans's report. We have just passed a, a bill to do some repairs, approximately $10 million worth of repairs at the current stadium. We all know that the lease is up in 2028, so we're going to have to make a determination. Now we reached out to the Browns over the weekend. We were told they won't comment on the story because of inaccuracies in it, but we know they're doing feasibility studies related to the stadium and the end of their lease. Destination Cleveland and the Greater Cleveland Sports Commission declined to comment.